This is an ABC Action News, tracking the tropics update. Sponsored by these valued partners. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Jason Adams here with your latest tropical update. We've got Hurricane Lee just off the mid-Atlantic coast right now. Winds at 85 miles per hour. It's quickly transitioning into an extra tropical cyclone where it loses those tropical characteristics. But the bad news with that is that its wind field expands. So we're still going to see tropical storm force like conditions here as we look at the New England coast, especially from Cape Cod up through Maine and then getting into southern Canada. Landfall is expected east of the United States, but with the storm's wind field being so much wider than what it usually is associated with a tropical system. We're still expecting those 39 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts easily from Boston north through Portland and then getting up to Bangor, Maine. 962 millibar pressure system. That's pretty strong for this high north. So again, we're looking at the surge potential also on the order of one to three feet here along the Maine coast and also southern New England. So there's the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center here in just about two days. We're no longer going to be talking about Lee. It seems like we've been talking about Lee forever because it's been such a slow mover out there in the Atlantic. We also are looking at Margot. It was a hurricane. It's back down to tropical storm status. We've got two other areas of tropical weather we're watching. The first one in red, 90% chance that it develops into our next depression or named storm as we go into the next two to seven days. The good news uh, models likely taking this a bit farther to the north out into the Atlantic, so not a concern for the US. We'll watch this one hasn't even come off the coast of Africa yet. 20% chance of development over the next seven days, but the Gulf, the Caribbean, the Southwest Atlantic. Now that Lee is moving up the coast is nice and clear, nice and quiet, just the way we like to see it here. Of course, we're in the peak of hurricane season right now. We'll keep you posted as we have a good month and a half to go before we can finally give a all clear here for this year.